The main question we are going to ask this week is why on earth should we invest time and money in reclaiming sleeping beauties, comatose, hibernating, no longer spoken languages, not to say dead or extinct tongues? I would like to share with you ethical or moral, aesthetic and utilitarian reasons for language revival. Ethical has to do with what is right. Aesthetic has to do with what is beautiful and utilitarian has to do with what is useful, for example, economically. I believe in a trinity, a trinity of language, land, and people. In Aboriginal spirituality, language is the mouth of the people, but also the mouth of the land. When you lose your language, you lose your cultural autonomy. When you lose your language, you lose your intellectual sovereignty. When you lose your language, you lose your heritage. You lose your soul. The loss of language, in my view, is more severe than the loss of land. When you lose your land, the land is still there. It might not belong to you, but the land is there. And it is aporetic to look at this beautiful land. Aporetic, you do not have words to describe the beauty of this. You feel at loss. When you lose your language, you lose your cultural identity. You lose your intellectual sovereignty. Ethically, language is a repository of ideas, values and experience. But Anthony Forster, a South Australian colonist, said in 1843, the native would be sooner civilized if their language was extinct. Aesthetically, consider what the late linguist Ken Hale once said. When you lose a language, you lose a culture, intellectual wealth, a work of art. It's like dropping a bomb on a museum, the Louvre. The utilitarian benefits of language revival include personal, mental, spiritual and physical well-being, sense of pride and self-esteem, an antidote for self-loathing. Okay, so let's get started. As you know, this course is comprised of a series of talks and interviews and has some learning games which should help you to focus on the history of linguicide, language killing, and how we can learn not to repeat such mistakes in the future. We will also check your progress with quizzes, pose questions for discussion on the forum, and present an occasional more in-depth assignment where you will be challenged further. Todaraba, that is reclaimed Hebrew for thanks a lot.